the new 6th generation iPad is here and it's well the same as last year's iPad with a couple of important changes. The changes sure are important but the biggest thing about this new iPad is that it's an extremely powerful tablet for an extremely low price by Apple standards. But what is it like? Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and this is the new iPad. You can't see me, can you? Anyway, this is what you're here to see and it looks remarkably similar to all the other iPads that came before it, doesn't it? Well, let me take you through this iPad, its new features and everything it can let you do. But before we do that, how about you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. Also, this video has been brought to you by AppMatch, an app recommendation service that recommends apps based on your likes and interests. I'll tell you more about AppMatch at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Now then, let's check out the new iPad. First things first, the 6th generation iPad is at the same price as the iPad from last year, but I'd still call it the most affordable iPad, mostly because it can do a lot of things that the iPad Pro can do, starting off with the Apple Pencil. Apple's stylus has been exclusive to the iPad Pro for a long time, and it really felt like it would never be something for the masses. After all, the iPad Pro is an expensive tablet. But with this new iPad, Apple has brought pencil support within arm's reach of a huge population. And honestly, it's great. Look, I've used the Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro, but to my untrained, unprofessional eye, this new iPad does not perform any worse with the pencil than the iPad Pro. Sure, pros might notice the lack of a 120Hz display and the milliseconds of latency between the pencil and the screen. But for the most part, believe me, you'll not notice anything. For regular users, the brand new iPad is simply perfect. I used it, Rupesh used it and a lot of the people in our team played with this thing and no one complained about the pencil or observed any latency. Rupesh even made a sketch on the Notes app and well, it, it sucks, I know, but that's not the iPad's fault. In fact, Varun in our team made a beautiful sketch on the new iPad. Just look at it, it's great. Plus, with the Apple Pencil, you can do a lot of other cool things. You can draw cool stuff, you can take notes in a meeting, in a class, you can annotate web pages, PDFs and anything else. It's just amazing. I mean, I know I can't draw for crap, but you can see that it's possible to, right? There's also the new processor, which is a massive boost from the A9 chip in the previous iPads. This time you get the 8 Infusion chip and it is fast. It's amazing how much the 8 Infusion can handle and it really makes the iPad a great machine for multitasking. They split screen which works just as you would expect. I mean, I personally use it while I'm on the go writing articles with the Safari window open in split screen with the Pages app. Plus, there's also slide over apps which is just insanely useful. I usually find myself using it to drag and drop attachments into emails quickly and it works like a charm. Also, gestures on the iPad are just amazing. There are a number of great gestures that just make navigating through the iPad a breeze. You can swipe up like this to get to the app switcher, pinch in to get to the home screen and even swipe left and right to switch between apps. Honestly, iOS on the iPad is truly a remarkable experience. And since the performance on this iPad is brilliant, it also makes up for a great gaming experience. I mean, I played PUBG on this thing and man oh man, the experience on the iPad is way better than on any smartphone ever. And that's partly because of this beautiful retina display. I mean, iPads have always had great displays and this one, well, it's no different. That said, there are a few things that the new iPad does not do as well as the iPad Pro. I mean, there are just two speakers here instead of four like on the iPad Pro, so there's no landscape stereo sound. The display isn't laminated, so sunlight visibility is comparatively lower and it's a standard display, not 120Hz like the iPad Pro. So scrolling will not seem as seamless as on the iPad Pro. Plus, it doesn't have the smart connector, which might as well be a deal breaker for a lot of people. Look, the iPad doesn't really have any competition anymore. Android tablets are all but dead. Amazon's Fire tablets are just glorified Kindles. And the Surface Pro, well, that's just too pricey. So the question is then, should you buy this new iPad or should you buy the iPad Pro? And the answer is simple. If your use case is that of a professional user, I mean, if you're a professional artist or a designer, and you're hoping to use an iPad for all your heavy lifting, a better 120Hz display will make a difference to you. And in that case, the iPad Pro is definitely the tablet you should get. 
However, for everyone else, the new 6th gen iPad is perfect. It's got Apple Pencil support, a great display and a very powerful processor. It's amazing. It has everything one can ask for in this price and it's just a no-brainer. Another thing that's a no-brainer is using App Match to get app recommendations. They have a variety of quizzes that you can take and get recommendations accordingly. Let's try out this cryptocurrency quiz. I can answer these questions and at the end the website suggests the best coin according to my preferences. Here's what my coin says. Instant transactions, fees under a penny. The first thriving decentralized autonomous governance structure in the world. We consider Dash to be the most promising project in crypto. Plus there are a bunch of recommended apps related to cryptocurrency as well. I can swipe left and right depending on whether or not I like them. AppMatch also has a new ad platform for app developers that can help you reach new users. The service is completely free and you should try it out if you ever need recommendations about apps you will like. A link with more info is in the description below. Well, those were my thoughts on the new iPad and honestly, I'm kind of in love with it. But what do you think? Do let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends who are confused between the iPad and the iPad Pro. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.